never been alone in my life. You have a twin, you were mm -hmm. born with someone. I feel like that has such an effect on her. Yes. Just yeah. like always having someone there. Yes, they say that self-love and spending time with yourself and all of that is important. But what is wrong with me saying I want a partner? Like, I just want someone to... Nothing, absolutely nothing. You're fighting back tears? Yes. Let it go. I think I'm just saying I just want someone to hold and someone to hold me and to hug me. And what's wrong with wanting that? Nothing, nothing wrong with that. You're lonely. You're lonely. I just feel like I have this beautiful house. Mm -hmm. I have a beautiful career. I have amazing kids. But the one thing that I don't have is love. And that's the one thing that I want more than anything. You feel lonely even though you have a tribe yeah, around you. Yeah, I do. And, and I'm tired of feeling that way, to be honest with you. Is, would it be safe to say that she's having a midlife crisis? Because it it, it, it sounds, and it, I, I, I haven't been following it, but if you have been married to this, to a person, to a man um, that presum presum presumably was holding you and telling you that you that I love you and all this other shit every day. And then you divorce him and then complain about not experiencing it. It's like that's oh that's disrespectful. It's it's fuck. I, I could I could only imagine the the anger and anguish that he feels hearing that knowing whatever it is that he has invested uh and put forth into the relationship to try to help her feel as if you know she is loved or whatever the case may be but to hear that publicly on national television that that that's gut-wrenching um so i I don't, I don't know if it's a, a like I said, midlife crisis, or if this is just the the effects of social media, to where it's like, okay, I I want I want to feel what everyone else is saying that they feel, you know, type of deal. Let me let me sabotage what it is that I can, that I have, so that I can later on complain about it and sob on TV to to try to get some type of sympathy from other people. I, I don't understand it. Viz, you ain't gonna understand it. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's a midlife crisis. I think it's a journey to her finding who she is without a husband. But why, why complain about you crying that you're alone? Like that that doesn't make sense. I, I would I would even say if if we're married, right, and you feel like all right, I'm 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 going through this through this space of where I don't know myself or I'm or I want to experience uh what it feels like to be um uh in solitude. If I'm your husband, then you all right, you know what, babe, you know, take take a month off and go wherever, you know, take some time off, but just know I'm here much rather than divorcing the man and then putting all y'all business out, you know, on, on the internet and TV, like that shit is, that's tough. Child, childish, immature, um, disrespectful. I mean, not only is this her ex-husband, like they have kids together. I yeah, just, so what are, yeah, what are your kids going to think at this, you know, once they, I don't know how old they are, but what what are your kids going to think? What what are your daughters going to think? How are they going to react now to they to they uh to their future boyfriends or or husbands? Are they going to do the same shit because they saw mama do it? We don't know, but I definitely don't like the um the tour of her, you know, divorce.
the downfall of her marriage. I don't I don't really think that it's for everybody to know. I think we could have enjoyed watching her in movies and TV without knowing her personal business. I don't know. Like a public relations tour of her sadness. I feel like we don't even know the whole truth. We know too much. Like just based on what's been put out there, like every other day it's a post about this girl, like and her marriage. But we her divorce. the power of a ripple. You say one thing and it's up. It's up. She's in a public eye. She has grown up in the public eye. Yes. It's always for her been about what somebody else thinks. That's how she gets hired to be on TV entertaining us. We can't turn that off once we know about somebody something. And I'm just saying that she's got to go through this in the public eye. And I don't think it's by choice. People, you know, post stuff all the time on the internet, right? Whether it's Facebook, whatever, they letting somebody know how they feel somewhere. That one grain drop makes waves. So it it is, we can't forget that, you know? What, what, do you, what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is we're getting down on her for speaking up about her. All I hear right now is us drilling her always posting, it's about attention when at the end of the day, some of that she might not be able to help. Well, no, I'm I'm not saying that she's been posting this, but there have been posts made about it. I'm not saying she had control over the post, but she has control over what she's saying in the public eye in regards to her divorce. That's true. That's true. That's yeah, I'm from, from I the guess you know what we just saw, everything that she everything that we saw was her saying it. I, I don't understand what you mean by that. I guess I'm saying, no, nah, I guess I'm saying she is grieving. So <laughs> she's she's grieving from a decision that she made, and and we're supposed to feel empathy for for her destroying her marriage. Did she? destroy it? I mean... She filed for divorce. How is that not destroying your marriage? It is. It. it what is she supposed to stay and just bear, grin and bear it? So, like, what if he was being abusive? Well, I haven't heard any accusations of this man being abusive. I so, heard. let's not put that on him. <laughs> 